<laughs> All right, are we ready to do this? Hey, yeah, whatever. Okay. Since we're a no content, no yeah topic, we just need a conversation. Hi, everybody. Welcome to High Gripe. Hello. Uh, it's a four piece today. Yay. Yay. So it's October. Gonna be October. Was so, it? Yeah. It's another day or two. Was it Tuesday? I believe Tuesday is the first. Sounds about right. Is this being stupid? Sorry, I'm having computer issues. I know Oops. you're a big Halloween fan. What about uh, everyone else here? No, she's a huge Christmas fan. Oh, I thought you liked Halloween. She Halloween does Christmas. like Halloween. But Christmas, you guys will just forget it. She's a, it's ridiculous. There's I'm not, the same way. No, I'm, no, I think no, we're going to no, go no, to no, Bronner's no. Christmas Maybe not to Wonderland that level, but. Frankenmuth. There's, listen, there's not a, a flat spot that'll hold a friction sticker that doesn't have a christmas thing on it in her house it's it's ridiculous it's absolutely ridiculous is it a healthy level no <laughs> no really no it's not honey i could is this even on yes yeah it's on okay. I could take you to other places that their houses are way more decked out. And they are also unhealthy. <laughs> Just because you're at the lower spectrum of unhealthy instead of totally freaking nuts does not mean it's not he and it's healthy. Hey, I could go hey, all out hey, like hey. our friend does, does it bring for her Halloween? happiness, though? I, she says it does. I don't then know. leave it alone. It, it brings her more stress than anything. She that, that freaks I out about believe. this and that, and, and it's like, will you just stop? That's not what Christmas is about. You're here. Right. I need you here. But since you freak out anyway, we'll settle for here. Dinah wants me to decorate for Halloween, but my biggest problem with that is is it rains all <clears throat> month. It does. And whatever you put out either rusts, gets damaged, or it's soaking wet when you put it away. I mean, it just kills it. If it would just dry up in this state a little bit. Good luck. Yeah, I know. I almost forgot to do this. I'm going to do it right Because we actually now. have, I think we have more Halloween decorations than we have Christmas decorations. Well, yeah, See? Because you Didn't threw all the Christmas stuff away. We were supposed to replace it. Well, I know, but then you won't do it anyway. Yeah. I want it at least fall decor. Yeah. I don't. Fall we have I'm just building up my Halloween decorations. We, we don't have a ton, but we're getting there. Year. Well, you should let me know. I can take you to some places. No, you should not take her anywhere. <laughs> Tell him you want to go to Bronner's Christmas Wonderland with us. We do not. It's a weekend. We do not. Really? You're just going to leave me to not have anyone to talk to while she's gockling at all the uh, ornaments? Well, I get a better idea. Just send them to and we'll stay here and do other shit. No, I do want to see it. I do want to uh, go. Let's see. Now the truth comes out. No, it's always been. I want to see no. it. I just. Now he the truth to comes out. Do I like a night in a hotel with me rather than. Yeah, since I botched you. the last one. Oh, we're not. Really? I mean, it, I can't help it. I, I like to own my mistakes. I don't know. Well, yeah, night in the so hotel was, sounds good, but I, the does. whole Christmas crap in between, nope. Oh, there's a lot of stuff to do up there because in Frankenmuth, which is a huge tourist town because the hotels are like $300 a night. They could have gambling. Um,. Yeah, I passed because they do have a red roof in too, and I. Oh yeah, no, no, we've learned our lesson on with that. that one. But I did look. If you drive twelve miles further to Saginaw, Michigan, they have normal priced hotels. Oh. But oh. Frankenmuth, seriously, even the Holiday Inn Express was like two hundred and seventy dollars for one night. Yeah. See, the thing is, if we go somewhere with a hotel but room to stay for the weekend, we very rarely tub. leave the hotel room for food. I think she would make you. I don't know. Bronner's Christmas Wonderland. That yeah, no, nope. And Sorry. on October nineteenth or the twelfth, they're having Jim Shore there signing stuff. Well, we'll just take Chris Whoever with us, the hell and then he can stay here and have an orgy. Sounds good. All right, have fun. Bye. You come home and his shit will be all warped up and blistered. Don't, listen, don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. But anyways. <clears throat> Anyway, that's a big if on that because that's expensive trip. You know what's funny? I thought of this morning when I I like started to fall back asleep and I kind of had a dream for a second, and then for something I think it got too hot, so I was only asleep for a few <laughs> minutes. So when Sully was looking your face, thinking you were getting up. Maybe no, Sully wasn't there this morning. None of them were there. He, they both come into bed. Anyway, they did. Big Any buzz, big buzz. Yeah. So we're talking when I woke up this morning. Okay. 
And when I got up, and there was no dogs in the bed. Right. Uh, I remembered for a minute that time we went to, and I can't remember why we went to. Remember we went to Columbus, and we were there on like a Sunday when everything was closed. We were just kind of driving around. Yes. I even remember the song. Oh yeah, because we it was went a Hinder all song. German Village and everything was closed. And I just oh. that it just was a what song? It was a song Hinder. from Hinder. I can't remember the name oh. of it. I never know um, the name of the song. What was the name of that song that they had that was so popular? No, this was another one. I bought that CD, and there's usually always another oh. song that I like. Yeah, that could be said. Yeah, I'd have to find it. and I don't care enough. But Lips of an Angel, I believe, was the one yes. that was very popular. Yes, but this wasn't that song. Um, anyways, I just that popped in my head, and it kind of I almost felt like. Not like our the best times were behind us, but it's like we used to do that kind of well, stuff. Well, yeah, then we all got sick, and now I'm all ready to do everything again. Yeah. I think we just drove down there for a road trip. I think so, too, and, that, and, and that's I, kind of what... didn't know everything. I think that Columbus was what was special and, about it. Was oh, we yeah, didn't have a lot of money. We didn't spend the night. I don't think... Did no. we spend... Or did we go down? I remember driving around downtown Sunday morning, and yeah, there was, it was like, like no, no traffic, one out there. No it was like people, desolate. No we but went, I can't yeah. remember if we spent the night or if we drove. Because why were we there in the morning? We might have spent the night. We might have went. Oh, we probably it was. Uh, we probably went down on a Saturday for the gallery hop. Yeah, and we did and spend the we, night. Yeah. Anyways, we used to do that stuff. It didn't cost a lot of money to drive well, down there and spend the night. Dogs also. That's so. true. Because we never now we have a dog sitter again. You saw her red pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaking through trying yeah. to make it yeah, before anybody. Yeah, yeah. we seen her. Yeah, but. Anyways, it just kind of made me feel a little sad. It's like we need to do that more often. Just inexpensive day trips or something. We need to go back to the aquarium. Where's that at? Oh, heck, we still have uh, tickets Cleveland, for Kentucky. the zoo, too. Oh, yeah, we Kentucky. haven't been Well, no, we need to go to, to the... Um, Newport? Yeah. We go to the Lexington Horse Park. I've always wanted to see that. I've never been there. Well, now, either. correct me if I'm wrong. The Northfield one, that's dogs, right? Northfield? No, no, no. no. Yeah, um, I think it's horses. Well, this is well, no, Northfield Park, Park is is horses, but it's not Northfield Park. I don't know if they're oh, don't they races races anyway. It. It's MGM now. It that was, was horses. Um, I thought that was dogs. No, they oh. did um, carriage oh, races. I can almost huh? see the. We just passed the sign. I yeah, but I can't read. It's yeah, it's MGM exit. now. I believe owns it, but yeah, that's in Northfield. Um, but it's um, they did carriage races, and I don't know if oh. they did them there. Or if they did simulcasts from like four or five different places, because I know they also do them down at what used to be Waterford Park, that kind of thing. But I don't know. We're not really big into the horse races. Or Neither am I. Races. But no, she said that one day, and I'm like, no, they, they race, race dogs the there. I don't know that they race at Lexington, but you can go. They raise horses there. Oh, they raise I don't them. know. My mother loved horses, and every time... With my ex, we would go to Virginia. I mean, it's right across the border of Ohio and Lexington. Right. And it's beautiful, all the white fences just for miles and the horses. And they have a big store because my niece who collects horse figurines and I forget the name of them, she's been there several times. Right, right. But they raise horses there. Hmm. Raise them, not raise yes, them. Yes, raise them. Mm -hmm. yes. But they might raise them. See, it's the problem with crazy. me is, as usual, when it comes to animals, I'm all... Gee -wee, gee -wee. And horses are very powerful. So when they do something like just push you away, they knock you like 45 feet away. Well, I say most of those horses are probably so just being, give you a little Yeah, nip. probably take a chomp out of my shoulder. Yeah, you know, just remove a little skin, a little chunk. You'll be fine. I you mean, you'll remember it for the rest of your life. I but sure will. you'll be fine. I'll have the scars to remind me. I used to oh. have a shoulder blank. Well, you know, just at work. I, we just uh, checked out some parts. They're made for uh, the clavicle on crash test dummies. Nice. So, you know, I could probably fix you right up. one for you if you get your The 65 cent man. There you go. You're worth at least 65 cents. At you least. Are. Come on. Mm -hmm. You get at least 65 cents worth of pants on. I've had, you know what? I've had some people say I'm worth clear up to 85 cents. Holy so I Jesus. I know, right? I know. Makes you feel man. good. Well, I just laid you 75 cents on the table. Yeah, but that's for water. Water. I don't get that. Water. It's just one more task I have to do. So do you guys have well water here? Is that why you buy five no, gallon jugs? No, we have, have mass and water and it's it's got days. entirely too much chlorine in it. First when we moved here, because when me and my mother lived in Maslin, the water was great. So I told him, Oh, it's great and we move over here and the first day we make a pot of coffee there's a 
film of oil on top of it. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Maslin water is is actually okay. Okay, it's way better than Canton. Because Canton, that's not water. I don't know what clear fluid that is, but it's not water. Mm. So it is better, but it's got so much chlorine in it to keep the pipes clean that I don't want to give it to my dogs because they're little. And you can't make ice with it because you end up with powdery ice. I'm not even joking. So it's just, you know, like I can cook noodles in the water if right, I want, right. you know, but it's you know, it only it costs a dollar twenty five to fill up five soup. gallons of water. I'm that, wondering but. why though, because like my daughter lives on the southwest side and hers isn't that bad and I don't it's know. Maslin's. Is you it know, maybe you're just closer tried it since here because actually our duplex which we rent it, that was also Maslin water. Yeah. Maybe it was Yes, just, we have. We have made okay. ice cubes here. Okay. But it doesn't matter. It like I said, it only costs a dollar twenty five to fill up the five gallon thing and it's yeah. it's got heat it's cold it's room temperature and it's but i think you can do perfectly that, clean um, that sand rock mineral water i think it's only like two dollars a jug and they bring it to your house you set the empty ones outside and they just switch them out yeah we i looked because now that jess is living with us we're going through water like crazy and uh it turns out that how do you say that name culligan oh yeah culligan, culligan, culligan the they're too, yeah. the cheapest and it's 50 bucks a month for three for 15 gallons a week so it's a huge. I mean, think about it. Oh, see, we had Sand Rock when I was a kid in Louisville, and it, you paid per jug. Yeah. And I think we would do two or three jugs a week, and I can I think it was only a couple dollars a jug. Yeah, but don't forget when Stuff you were a kid. Like it was the eighties? No, no, I'm talking about when I was in my early twenties. I'm oh. talking, but I mean that was still twenty years ago. I didn't yeah. think it was that much. We lo- we talked about it twenty years ago. Yep. <laughs> twenty some years ago. Well, that's like stuff going up. We were looking at to go to Mid Ohio to the AMA races. One day was seventy bucks. Mm-hmm. We used to get a weekend pass for fifty, and we parked a motorhome there one year for like fifty bucks. Yeah, motor it's ridiculous. Home, now three, four hundred dollars to park it. Yeah. So your two dollar water is now fifty bucks a month. That's ridiculous. No, it yeah. is, and it. I mean, and it's it's kind of worth it when you drink as much water as I do. But at the same well, time, yeah. it only takes me a dollar twenty five to fill one up. You just filled up at the marks down there. Yeah. There, well, no. There's two of them. There's there's um, I don't know what it's called. There's the one on the corner of Perry, Perry and, and Navarre Road. Okay. He has one, and then I also there's one at Drug Mart on Hills and Dales. Okay. And that's the two places I go. And like I said, it, it doesn't cost. I mean, it's under two dollars. Yeah. To where three gallons is fifty dollars or three times four, you know, twelve gallons of water. No, twelve times five oh my god three times 15 gallons a week a week Good times no it's bi-weekly it oh that bi-weekly are you man you might be right i think so that's so even worse for 50 bucks a month 15 yeah. gallons twice so you get 30 gallons a month for 50 bucks yeah delivered. it's just it's oh, too much of a price and hike for me to to justify it yeah i'm looking to see if i can find anything online here that tells me how much it is but 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 I do love the fact that we have push button hot water. Yeah, that the machine does that. Yeah. Right? See, and I think that was the other thing. Well, that that might have be been why we got a get water delivered. But see, I think that's why we got a better deal on the water. No, I'm just saying that's why we still have it. Go we ahead. rented the machine from them. Yeah. So that might have been why we got a better deal on the water from them because we didn't buy a machine; we rented one from them. Yeah. The first one when we got our apartment. Uh, yeah, we bought that at a garage sale. No, it was it was worse. It was just a. a craigslist for 40 bucks and we're like can't beat that so we climbed in the car went to akron and picked this thing up for 40 bucks brought it home bleached it and then vinegared it cleaned it up real nice and we used that for what a decade over a decade wasn't there something was just loose on it and we thought the lady thought it was broken but it was i can't remember it was so long ago but i know i had to clean it which was fine and i cleaned it all up in the garage and like i said that Mm -hmm. thing worked for a over a decade for 40 bucks and then it finally took a crap and we just went and bought one i think it was like 200 the same one. Yeah. yeah the newer version of the same well it's not the same the original one uh the bot the bottle went in the bottom of it yeah and it pumped the water up this one i didn't want the pump so i just made sure it was top gravity fed but other than that yes it's it's the same so we're happy i'm happy with it i like having that water there available it says here that Culligan will start you with three bottles for thirty dollars a month. Yeah, and then it goes that, but up. that's if you rent their cooler. 
Oh, great. So you save $20 a month. Then the cost of the, the cooler. But I think that's with the cooler. It's as you get started with the bottle delivery water service, Akron and Canton, and you can enjoy three bottles of water in a cooler for just $30. Oh, so that's three, that's three bottles a month. You guys probably use three bottles a week. Yeah, we use, <clears throat> I think, two bottles a week. Yeah, at least. Because mm-hmm. the one up there is about empty now, dear. Yes, I know. <laughs> well, I need quarters to fill the well, next one. I got one. three. <clears throat> I'll stop tomorrow at the bank and get a roll of quarters i may have two quarters in the van so we can get one filled yeah so every time i see anything about this i th- thought sandrack was the cheapest and every time i look at it it just takes me to their website and it doesn't tell you you have to fill all this stuff out yeah but but i do see their trucks driving around but i also work right next to culligan so i figured i'd call them yeah but anyways i wonder what it costs from culligan if you just if you go and pick up bottles drop three off take two with you i don't know i'd have to look that's what you can do with Clearwater, but that's all the way in Canton. Yeah, but since you work right next to Culligan, I wonder if you right. could do that. I don't know. Put three empty bottles in the van, drive there, swap them out, come here. That would be nice and convenient. Mm-hmm. I mean, if it costs you a quarter more for the thing, you don't have to stand there and wait for the machine to run. Well, when I worked at Tractor, the one at the Circle K, K there, worked, yeah. it was $2 to fill the thing, and I and it was credit card, so I didn't care. I just ba doo yeah. No quarters needed, but then they never maintained the damn thing, and it was never working well, properly. Well, it's Circle K. They don't maintain trip. Especially in that little – that that's like hillbilly corn-fed yeah. <laughs> Circle K. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. No matter what time you drive past, there's always someone there just hanging out talking to the guy, which yeah. is cool, but yeah. it's just like – We got to think. You, you're in the middle of East BF wherever. You work in midnights overnight at the Circle K. You're going to want one of your buddies hanging out right. talking to you. What else are you going to do? Beat your head on the glass? No, he made cookies. They had an oven back there, and he got the the frozen cookies. He'd have to cook those up and put them out there. He was the cookie guy? Yep, he made cookies. Circle K cookies. I don't know. I used to do that in Albuquerque. Oh, yeah? When I worked at the student union on campus. Yep. That was a promotion from being a cashier. Were the cookies raw, or were you just heating them up? No, they were raw. You had to put them on the... Big industrial ovens and yeah. the big carts and yeah, fun fun. So I'm gonna tell you a story that happened to me at work the other day. Okay. So this is uh, this is just ridiculous. So I'm sitting there and I'm working the billing office and this guy comes in, just dirty, wearing this nasty like just covered in grease yellow shirt with a reflector on. He's like, hey. They need to pop the seal on this this trailer to fix the light. So it's going to need a new seal, but it's loaded. I'm like, hang on a second. Let me make sure management's already with changing the seal just to fix the light, which I figured they probably would be. But I checked, and they were like, yeah, go ahead. So the guy comes back up, and it's right before break. And he's like, okay, they got it all fixed. I just need a new seal. I'm like, all right, cool. Well, then there was a whole d- another disaster, which we have back there all the time. <laughs> then it's break time. As soon as I go to break... Hey, we need a wave dropped in 30 minutes. And I'm like, you're not getting a wave in 30 minutes because I just went to break. I'm going to yeah. be here for 20 minutes and it takes 15 to drop a wave. So sucks to be you. Yeah. So then I'm sitting there. I get back. I went back a couple minutes early just to get the wave going. Dude comes back and he's like, hey, what's up with that seal? And I'm like, I got to drop a wave to keep the facility running. As soon as I'm done, I'll do it. He's like, well, uh, I don't. And like this dude looked like he's stoned out of his gourd. Of course he was. I, I don't know if you like know this but like drivers they they have clocks and i'm like yeah dude been doing this 29 fucking years i know drivers have a clock but who gives a shit and i'm like what slot did you put it in and he's like i i don't know i said you didn't put it back in the slot that's on top of the thing there where you got it from no (laughs) and i'm like jesus i said first of all i need a slot number or i can't give you anything yeah so he goes uh uh okay and I'm like, oh, my God. So this dude goes lollygagging out there. I finish dropping the wave. He comes back in. I'm like, doo 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 And I go outside to hand the our driver the seal. Here, he's the friggin' truck driver and never told me. And he's sitting there waiting on this fucking thing. And I'm like, yo, man, if you would have told me you're the driver and not the mechanic, I'd have done that before I went to break. And you'd be, you know, 20 minutes down the fucking road, you yeah. moron. <laughs> So then the driver, our driver that moves our trailers is like, 
that guy's an idiot. And I'm like, who are you telling? <laughs> <laughs> I said, first of all, there's more grease and grime on the driver packet from his hands than probably would have been if the dude that fixed the fucking light carried it. I said, that's why I thought he was the mechanic. And then Dan happens to pop in, supervisor, he goes, what's up? And I'm like... That dude out there that looked like he was stoned that was waiting on that chair, he's like, yeah, the guy I talked to outside. I said, did you know he was the driver? He's like, no, he wasn't. He was the mechanic. And Rich, the guy that drives for us, is like, no, he wasn't. He drives for them. And then I, but me and Dan were like, that dude drives a semi-truck? And he was like, yeah. Dan's like, oh, Jesus Christ. I said, Dan, that's why you never drive next to a truck on the highway. Yeah. <laughs> I've always said that. Um Police officers are the worst drivers on the road, yep. and truck drivers are the second worst drivers on the road. Police officers are the worst drivers on the road because they think since they were trained to do this and that, they can handle anything, and they can do whatever they well, want. Well, they also they abuse their fun. position. Yes, they do. They'll flick those lights on just because they don't want to sit in a intersection. Yep. Well, but it's the arrogance. It's, it's you know, I have yeah. a little authority. No one's going to yell. Respect police my authority. Right. It's police officers are the one that will be on the phone while driving. Oh, yeah. And then pull someone over five minutes later for doing it, right? for thinking. being on the phone. Yep. And then they have the gall to say, "Well, I was supposed to do it." You know. So that's why I Official say they're the worst business. drivers. And truck drivers are just—they just drive these big mammoth machines, and they think you know, bullyism basically. Well, some of them just—I—I I, I don't even understand. The other thing I found out in my travels of all this kind of stuff, truck drivers get their licenses in certain states because they can get it in their language from wherever they come from yeah i also found out and i don't know if you know this or not but almost everybody that owns a chinese restaurant comes through new york and they all have new york driver's license because new york is one of the only states that gives state driver's test in chinese oh which is interesting mm -hmm. but that's one of the reasons that like if you see like do the car outside your local Chinese restaurant? It probably is from New York because they're most of them take the, their driver's test in New York because they can do it in, in Chinese in their native language. Yeah, but that's one of the reasons a lot of them go through there. As long as they can drive, well, I would say that it, mo I don't see like I don't know some like people, there's always the stigma of the Asian woman, but I think that's just in general people that. No offense. Women in general are usually more distracted than men when they're driving because oh, their mind is in a hundred percent, a hundred and fifty different 100%. places. A hundred percent. Where a guy there's always is, exceptions, but a hundred. Most women aren't like you, dear. Well, they're listen, driving on the street, putting makeup on, changing their no, tampax, no, and then fucking. More, it's more. They have a hundred fifty thousand things going on in their I brain. Say, yeah, instead men of are have a one track mind. They exactly. Think of one thing at a time. Exactly. But that is true. And it's usually their other head that they're thinking with. So well, it depends. Sometimes. Usually, because if I take my eyes, I'll ask her, if I take my eyes off the road for a second, the car does a 90-degree turn. So I have to be laser-focused on yeah. the road. But no, I, like I said, I really think that the thing with women being bad drivers is just because, like I said, they're, they've got 25 things spinning in their brain, and we got like four. Yeah. It's just they're more distracted, and it's not because there's anything. It's just because that's the way their fucking brain works. That's why they're a pain in the ass. Mm. Also, I'm by the way. even calling that. You should. Because there's women in the audience that are yelling at the, their radios right now. It, but the, but and he I said, would that's be more not than all happy. Women. How many tickets have you had? Tickets have I had? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. About 25 million. I've had two. Good for you. I How told you, you're an exception, you though. Right. You, have, you, have, you don't answer texts, you don't play on Facebook. You're, you're definitely an exception. But see, you can't. Even with your age group, you're at, an exception. At the same time, you can't. Oh. You, you can't compare tickets back and forth with me because the things I've got tickets for, you would have never done. I street raced for 15 years. So, yeah, I probably got way more tickets than you ever will. <laughs> I've probably gotten arrested way more times for street racing or going over 120 miles an hour than you ever will. The only thing that I can't blame on women is the arrogance because well, dudes, dudes in pickup our, trucks are so much F worse. F-150 is the worst. I don't give a shit. When I, they, every douchebag on the road drives an F-150. I don't know. I'm thinking that they're all kind of pretty pretty no. even. Listen, I'm telling you right now, if you pay attention, 90% of the douchebags are in an F-150. Or a GMC. Nope. Every time I see someone like entirely too close, it's either a GMC or a Ram. Well, 
Ram looks like it's so close because the front end of them things are the size of a fucking house, and they're not that close to it. It just looks like it because they're twice the size of any other pickup truck. And Chevy actually is like that now, too. Did you? Where yeah, was they're we at huge. Yesterday, or no, just today, that white one that was next to us when we stopped at the gas station, the front of that goddamn thing yeah, it's is all the front size end. of a fucking semi-truck. It's all front end. They used to make the front ends like taper. Now yeah. they just you know, They're just huge. They're huge. It's like a wall. But anyways. But yeah. No, and I oops. Nice shot. She does that. One of these days she's gonna hurt someone. Oh I swear God. to gosh, she threw something at me one night. I think it was like a piece of candy. Oh my god. There was, was vapor trails coming off that damn thing. It was a racy peanut butter egg. Yeah, it was melted by the time it got to me. No. From hit friction with the air molecules. Oh my gosh! Like went through re-entry, just going from across the room. Hit I was you. sitting right here where he was here. I was there. And in that amount of time, like it went so fast, you could stop, look, and see it leave. Uh, Most way, people won't get that joke, but that's okay. The one guy that I that I know that plays professional poker, he's like that. If he wins a huge pot in a cash game. He'll throw a hundred dollar chip at whoever he wanted from and said, There, take your wife out to dinner. He says the chip usually comes back going about Mach three. <laughs> I would keep it. But yeah, he'll be like, here, take your wife out to dinner on me. He says, Everybody gets pissed off and wings it back at him. But you know, there's not a lot of people like him that have an actual poker room named after him in Vegas, so <laughs> mm. I just think it's hilarious. Mm. You feel better over there? What are you doing? Mm-hmm. I'm pinching back a fart, so just leave me alone. All right, so. Listen, man, just put your butt up to the microphone and let no, it rip, son. No, 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 See no, if no. you can mount that styrofoam. I like blaming everything on Sully, and Sully's all the way over there. Buried under the box of Kleenexes, actually. <laughs> oh. It makes a good table. Yeah. But anyways, so what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, we were talking about like day trips and, and things like yeah. that. Yeah, I don't know. I'd like to go back to Kentucky to go. Well, we actually stayed in Cincinnati. What would you consider be the farthest for a day trip? Go there, visit, come back. Like, what would be the distance? To, like, and not stay overnight? Yeah. Like, New York? No. No. Okay. Ain't no way. It'd have to be, I'd say, a three-hour drive max. Three-hour drive max. Because that's what we did when we went to Mothman yeah, Festival. Yeah, because that would be six well, hours. four hours. Plus however much time you want to spend there. Yeah. Yeah. It was a four-hour drive by the time we stopped for breakfast, and I actually... <coughs> Excuse you. I'm sorry. I actually got gas one time, and I think we stopped for the restroom once or twice. So, it actually, from the time we left till the time we arrived, there was four hours. And then we walked around a few hours, and then drove home same, stopped for dinner. Yeah. Stopped for the restroom, so... Yeah, so when we came back from Cincinnati, it took us all day because we made a couple stops, but... Yeah, we used to, Columbus used to be a big day trip, and that's only, what, two hours? Columbus is, yeah, probably an hour and 45. Depends on how you go and how fast Well, and that was like going to outlet malls and shopping all day. Yeah, well, we stopped at Jungle Gyms, and did we go to Cabela's or Bass Pro Shops? I think we did Cabela's. It was Cabela's. But Yeah. Well, I know in Frankenmuth, Wait, I love that kind of Some stuff, of the hotels so. are right next to. I don't a know what a Carmella is. Outlet mall. You don't know what Cabela's is? No. It's like a Bass Pro shop. Oh. It, it's but it's yeah. It's they're owned by the same people. Yeah. Cabela's right. bought Bass Pro. Okay. But yeah, but Jungle more, Gyms. We were probably yeah. in what three hours? Yeah, Jungle four Gyms. Four hours. We were there heard forever. of that? You guys, I think you guys would like Jungle Gyms. Other than the walking around, that's what sucks is the walking around. We're it's, better at walking around now. It's a grocery international grocery store that's the size of TSE. Oh, wow. It is huge. Nice. Where's it at? Uh, it's just outside Cincinnati, right? It's, that one was like, yeah, I think just outside of Columbus, actually. Oh, that's even better. Let's look it up. Have you guys ever been to the Rainforest Cafe? I have not, but I've seen it. Actually, when I was in Chicago, there was one there. That's we, the best we one. We walked in, yeah. but we didn't actually like do no, much. No, it's actually anything. Cincinnati. It's it says it's in the east. It's in Eastgate, which is Cincinnati. That's the one we went to. Hmm. Then there's another one up in Fairfield. That's just it's outside of Cincinnati. It looks like it's east of Cincinnati, northeast of Cincinnati. I know it's just a restaurant, but it's it's the only restaurant that has thunder and lightning. 
Obviously. Yeah, I did get to see that much of it, and we just looked yeah. around the gift shop and stuff. It's my but. favorite restaurant, and their food is really good too. It's not just the novelty part of it. So now Jungle Gems is so big when in the summer because we went like it was fall, wasn't it, or spring? And they weren't really spring, busy, I think. but when it's busy, you park in the strip mall parking lot in the back, and they have a tram that takes you to Jungle Gems. It's pretty wild. Um, let's is see there for, anything else in Cincinnati we're seeing? Oh, yeah, there's all kinds of cool shit. I was asking the wife. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't remember. We went there a long, long time ago. But long, yeah, we went long down to, time ago. I love that song. I don't know all the lyrics. We uh, we went and played in the fountain. That's the big thing in the 80s mm-hmm. to do. We played in the fountain. Nowadays, it's full of piss, both animal and people. Oh. The fountain? Mm-hmm. Oh. Be the river walk's really cool down there. Here. And what is a river walk? You walk along the river. <laughs> well, I could do that as Sippo. It's, it's like a park, though, but they have like musical type things, like where you walk, can walk on the things and it make, plays music. Yeah. And they have really cool swings that you can sit in and swing and look out over the river. If it isn't raining. Well, that too. Of course, southern Ohio is a little different. We seem to get hammered from Lake Erie up here. Yeah. Well, that damn lake pisses on everything. Sure does. There's the tram that takes you in. Cool. But it's it's pretty big. I can see why he'll like it. <laughs> the tram. Look, and they got the animatronic things in there. Like this is the Elvis one that plays a song while you're in. It's it's pretty wild. That reminds me of that story Matt was telling us uh, about Chuck E. Cheese and how they like they had to dismantle the that's, animatronics. And that's shit. one section, and there's probably about sixty. Nice. But there's a fucking fire truck in the one section. <laughs> the bathrooms are hilarious because we were there and we had to pee. And I'm like, well, there's like fake outhouses. That's kind of funny, whatever, yada, yada, yada. Then we couldn't find a bathroom. So I finally asked them, I say, where are the bathroom? They're like, right there. And you open the outhouse, like the plastic yeah. port of John. Boom, it opens in the hallway into a gigantic ass restroom. It's hilarious. Well, if we do go to Vegas, I got to find that grocery store. There's a grocery store in Vegas where if you open up certain like freezers and sections mm-hmm. there's an entire other building in there oh that's cool i wish i knew enough of it to search it to tell you to look at it but oh. it, like, like you go to the refrigerated section and open up the <clears throat> beer and it's a hallway and it goes into like a bar like an entirely different building that's really cool yeah i wish i knew enough about it to give you guys more information but that's well, that's all that i know we were talking today about the apartment that you were looking at that was in downtown Madison. where was that behind the sangria stand i don't know i could take you there but i don't know what was behind it and wasn't it was it, amazing. Wasn't it like behind the hotel? No. Um, the hotel is it's further up. Um, you know the, the Huntington? You have that little road beside the Huntington? Are you talking about Huntington or are you talking about Chase? No, I'm talking about uh, Huntington Bank. I know where Huntington is. Okay. Yeah. You know that wall that's got those circle things? Yeah. Just, what direction is that? Um, it's east. Just west of that, the building to the west the apartment building is behind the uh, the house is behind that so you have that big building that's a storefront then you have the house and another storefront and then it continues on okay, so, it's, so it's it was in a house then it, it, it's 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 you have to see the pictures it's like they took the back of the building and made it look like a house and it is a house but it's part okay. of that building you don't have a garage. Because I was telling him, of the lady that owns Sangria Stand, uh-huh. they actually rent an apartment. It's actually overlooks Duncan Plaza, but she uses it for like art classes and stuff. But then she also rents it out, and it has, is it a fully really furnished cool. three bedroom apartment house? I'm not sure how it's an apartment apartment because it's yeah. like way up. That um, so if you're at Duncan Plaza, uh huh. I think Lincoln Way, and you're turning onto the road. What was it? First Street, I think. Link is in Duncan Plaza, and the museum is on the left side. It's the building on the right side, is okay. where her place is. So now he's going to look up where it was at. No, <laughs> I'm looking up Vegas first, and then nope. I will. Uh, then I will open up a whole new. So it is Meow Wolf Las Vegas Mega Mart. If you look and look that up, and then I'm going to go. I'm going to try to find that. I found it on Zillow. And showed a guy at work, which would be Cameron. Cameron. It was $2,000 a month. But, I mean, it was so cool. The only thing I had a problem with, it was super country. 
Like it was all wood inside, and oh, it had the, the wagon decor. wheel lights. Like it was too country. For, I don't think I could deal with it. I know this room has wood paneling in it. I get that. But this entire <laughs> house was this paneling. You know what I mean? Like it had, like I said, it had the wagon wheel uh, lights, the, the dining room yeah. chandelier. It was just too country for me. It was too hee-haw. Yeah. Written. Like you just, as soon as you saw the pictures, you think ding, 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 ding. You waiting got a the pretty banjos, mouth. Waiting for the banjos to start playing. Yeah. I don't know if I'll be able to find it because that was uh, almost a year ago that I showed Cameron and... But it was super cool, and I could take you right there. Like, if you really wanted to see it, we could. I could take you there. I just, I just, it's so hard to explain because I can't. I don't know the store that's on the Lincoln side front. I don't know because yeah, it's know. behind it. You have to go around behind it to get to the house, and I don't know where you park. I know there's a parking lot there behind that, but I don't know if that's where you park or if that's for customers. But anyways, but anyways, did you look up that store? No, you're looking for the house. Yeah. Which store is you looking for? No, for fuck's sake. Uh, the grocery store in Belden is called the Meow Wolf Las Vegas Mega Mart. Oh, yeah, I didn't look that up yet, no. Um, I'm looking at- <coughs> we moved on. Fuck that place. Listen, we were, you were looking for this place in Maslin. I'm sorry, I'm looking up what we're discussing, not what we talked about three minutes ago. Las Vegas Supermart is hiding a mind-blowing secret. Oh, gosh, here we go. Well, at least this website isn't jumping all over the damn place yet. Uh, for Wait, the wacky art pieces for sale. So they have wacky art pieces, hours. So they have the hours. Nice. And it's uh, 3215 South Rancho Drive. Number 100, Las Vegas. I have seen a lot of stuff on this place. I've seen people do, like, Instagram videos and shite. Shite. And that's one of the things on our bucket list. We also never got a chance to see the Shelby Museum. But she wants to take me there to get uh, my wedding ring tattooed on my finger. Because I can't wear rings. I told you we could do that anywhere. I'm getting my tattoos there. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't I mean to infringe you can get on your our tattoo. tattoo there if you want yes, to. hers tattoos are more important. But I well, say, they are because she has more of them. I just want a ring. Well, Do you I know s- of any tattoo artist that does super small, intri- intri- integral work? I can probably find out if my guy he does it. I'll yeah. talk to sure Because it has to be done well. I'll ask Courtney. I don't mind spending some money. Like, I could go up to, she has to approve it, but I could go, I could spend up to, like, say, maybe seven, eight hundred dollars. <gasps> If you can't get a ring tattoo that's, that's say, nice I for seven, eight hundred dollars, I don't know how much they it. cost. I'm just saying, if they go over that, I'm going to say no. Well, I know you, but can, it has but. to be detailed and integral, and it has to look good. I, I don't can care. Message my tattoo guy, either him or his wife, because they both do tattoos. So. Yeah. And there's a new one in Maslin. I think the thing I told you we got to go. You got to go there and look at their portfolios and stuff. There's some new person in Maslin, and they've claim they had a lot of pictures and they claim they specialized in thin line is that what that's called i would think so okay well i i should tell you this story for those of you who don't know the reason i don't have tattoos and the reason i don't care for tattoos when i i graduated in 93 and i went to a vocational school i went to lake in hartville and then I went to a voca- vocational school in North Canton where they kind of taught you trade, like auto mechanic, uh, auto body, and then they had small engine kind of schooling. And you, they basically they shoved all the stupid kids there, you know, because we can't teach you anything, you know, like reading and stuff. So what we can teach you is how to build engines, right? But it was actually really cool because it gives a lot of kids a background in mechanical things and how the world works. I was there for auto body. So I graduated, and about a year later, maybe over a year, I went back to see the teacher, just talk to him. So I'm in there talking to him, and when you're in the auto body, you would go there, and then you go to the locker room, and you change into coveralls because you get dirty. So I'm standing there, and this 15-year-old kid comes walking out, and he's got his coveralls down at his waist and tied up, but he doesn't have a shirt on. And he has, he's, he's not covered in tattoos, but he's got like one on each shoulder and one on his pack. I'm talking about a 15-year-old. And I looked at this kid and I just thought to myself, 
oh, well, if this 15-year-old little boy is getting tattoos, then there must be nothing cool about him. You know what I mean? Like, there's just, if this 15-year-old little boy is all tatted up, then... I want to know who's tatting him because you it, can't get a tattoo until you're 18 unless your parents sign off. As a parents probably signed off. Or it, somebody it, was doing it in their garage or basement. Or his parent was the tattoo, tattoo artist. artist. Could True be that. Too. Now, and then, and then that was my thought. Like, well, the coolness is gone. It's, it's no longer a cool thing if children are getting it. So I left with that thought. And over time, especially nowadays, you'd be hard-pressed to find a single dude over the age of, say, 17 that doesn't have some tattoo already on him. Everyone's getting tatted now. It's like... A right of it's like smoking. It's like a rite of passage. Like if you get to a certain age and you don't get tatted up, you know you've seen guys who are about as tough as tissues, and they got fucking tribal tats all over their wrists or over their. And it's just it got to point where it is so uncool now. It's just I would be following the herd. So I just like screw that. I'm not gonna jump on a bandwagon. But the reason I'm considering the ring is because every time I put on my wedding ring, my hand swells up. I wear my watch, my hand, my wrist swells up, and I'm getting to the point where I'm never leaving the house with my I ring a, on anymore. I have a question. What? What's a watch? Is it kind of like a watch, but it's rusty? Yes. Okay. No, a watch is a watch that you can't wear. Oh, okay. It's a wretched watch. Um, I was confused. I'm sorry. I'd never heard of a watch. I'm like, what the fuck is a watch? I'm sorry. That's okay. I was letting it go, but you know. <laughs> You would think you'd be used to it by now. <laughs> it's a cross between a Rolex and a watch. <laughs> it's a there fake, you go. It's, it's an a extremely two, fake Rolex. It's a 2000. No, 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 no. It's a Rolex you buy on New York streets for $14. Right. And the guy's got 12 of them. Up yeah. Center. Which one do you want? Yeah, which one do you want? <laughs> They're even quartz. They were selling that at the, we went to the Barnesville Pumpkin Show. And uh, they had all these sunglasses and it's, you know, raining, but... I want it to look because I got a pair of uh, cheap sunglasses at the uh, cheap Hartville sunglasses. flea market. It's easy top, baby. <clears throat> I saw them in the 80s. Anyway, and they were the all they had big signs. They were like Gucci and Prada. Yeah. And I figured they were knockoffs. Well, when you get up the real fine print, it said, compare our prices to. To, oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I was actually looking because there's a couple Ray Ban frames that really are nice. See, I, I don't know. I'm an Oakley didn't... guy. I love Oakleys, and I I buy them online, and you usually get them pretty cheap online. Well, I've got. I make. Is it, it corny that I'm literally the cheap sunglasses guy? I buy them at gas stations, and well, see, I bought a pair of. Well, those aren't so cheap anymore. Yeah. Twenty bucks compared yeah. to a couple hundred. Well, I think the no, one no. at the flea. Uh, yeah. Well, these ones were fifteen. I bought. Well, what I did is I bought a pair of. I wear crankshafts when I ride my motorcycle. Oakley crankshafts. Okay. So I bought a pair of... I literally thought it was a real crankshaft. Go ahead, though. But I bought a pair of fake-looking crankshafts on Amazon. You could ask her. I put them on to ride. Dude, the wind that and shit that got in my eye, I'm like, fuck this. So I spent the, what was it, $80, and I bought a pair of crankshafts, and them things are awesome. So then at work, they make us wear safety glasses, and they give you a pair, and every time you're putting something in a rack and you look up... It's there's so much glare in this cheap fucking plastic. Yeah, I'm like screw this. Yeah. So I spent sixty dollars and bought a pair of Oakley safety glasses, and now I can see at work. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just too cheap. But yeah, they're so so much better. And the ones that I really want are the new ones that Oakley just came out. Well, they're not new new, but I want a pair of deck cords. But they're like hundred and eighty dollars, and I'm not spending that on a pair of sunglasses. Yeah, I get you. But they are super cool. All right, so I couldn't find that pow- that place on Zillow, so they must not be renting anymore. But if I can get an address, I can bring up the old ad for it, and at least We've be able. We've moved to- on. We don't care anymore. Here it is. We do care. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it right there. Diamond. Diamond Court. Yes, southeast. Anyways. But, um, 
so yeah, so I need to get the wedding ring because I can't wear my wedding ring. And now I've gotten to the point where I almost never wear it. And I don't want to be like that. I can't wear it at work. I certainly couldn't wear it at Tractor. No. So I want to find someone who does intricate. I'm going to come up with a design, you know. So that's where we're at. Gotcha. And apparently I'm not allowed to do it in Vegas. <laughs> no. I didn't say you couldn't. We were going to go down to Maslin and look around. Those are the ones I want right there. Those are nice. Are they transitioning? <clears throat> no, no. Those are just the safety glass style. You can buy them in sunglasses or safety glasses. See, now, don't you feel like you're being a bit pretentious when you're rolling around in a pair of Oakley safety glasses? No, because I can see where the hell I'm going. I'm not crashing into shit. Huh. Are they making you wear safety glasses now? Yes. When did that start? Two months ago? Oh, A month gosh. and a half ago? Why what are you happened? looking at me? Because I told you the one day when we were at work and they told us we had to start, there was a new rule. Everybody's I'm gonna be sorry, mad. I forgot to mark it down on the calendar. <laughs> <laughs> you remember every other goddamn date in the world? Why well, would she you didn't remember, remember that? that one. So, I don't know. But no, what it ha- what's happening, I guess, and this is a across the board thing in the distribution center they're having a lot of people they're just getting dirt and dust and crud in their eyes and they're having a lot of issues with that so now we have to wear safety glasses yeah. now if you wear straight regular glasses those are okay as long as you have something to keep the dirt from flying in your eyes as you're driving right you know it's always funny that i'm kind of the opposite my eyes are perfectly fine until they put on safety glasses this one time when I was at Gojo, I literally watched a piece of dirt bounce off of the lenses and bounce into my eyes. <laughs> it like went in like through the top and went boink, boink. And I went, you son of a bitch. Threw those glasses across the room. Then you get wrote up for not wearing a safety glasses. No, no, no. I yelled. I mean, I, the guy didn't deserve it, but I yelled at my boss. I'm like, you guys make me wear these damn things. And they put stuff in my eyes more than they keep it out. And just have no luck. Okay. Well, I'm not happy. Why are you not happy? Oh. Who gives a shit? So you see this? I'm showing you. Yeah. Okay, here's downtown. Here's Lincoln Way and First Street. Yeah. It's in right there. So it's in between. You got the Huntington Bank here, and then there's a little side street, and there it is. It's that so it's house. between second and first? Yeah, it's on. It's all, It's behind, like this is the back of it. The front of it actually faces the back of this building. Yeah, yeah. And then there's the parking lot. You got 20, the second street, and then Diamond Court, and this, this is the house. Here. What what is the the business for the parking lot? I don't know. Oh, here it is. Uh, let's look at that picture. So here you go. So you got the State Farm. So it'll be looking. The house is facing the State Farm building. Okay. And then you got Howard's Tiger Rags, which I'm not sure if that's still there now. I don't know how old this picture is. But if you go back, and see if I can. See if I can make a... There we go. There's Second Street. It's in there. See this parking lot? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's on the other side of that building. So I'm going to try like hell. There we go. There it is. It's this. Interesting. Yeah, I and see And if it. you see the other end of it, which, of course, Google Maps can't get there, it is the most amazing house or... If you want to call it a house, I guess you could because it's... What is behind it, back behind, like over here? Keep spinning. It's that, um, it's, um, I think it's like AT&T or Massing Cable. It's okay. A, it's probably AT&T. All right. Yeah. And yeah, then but, yeah it's right across the street. There is this business here where it says Coke now open. What is this? That's that's uh, Bob and Ertz, or Bob and... Um, Bob and Bart Smokehouse, which we went in one time and they just... <laughs> that, was, that was scary. Yeah, it was a little worrisome. Nobody talked to us. Nobody said a thing. We couldn't get anybody to wait. I think it was actually after hours, and they just didn't lock the place up. Oh, no. There was people sitting in there. They just didn't wait on us. But anyways, it's, it's if you go to this parking lot. Oops. That's right. Too far. And I, you might be able to park there. I'm not sure. Yeah, it might be your garage. Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. But it is a beautiful, 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 beautiful home, and I would love to live there. But $2,000 for country lifestyle is just. Especially living down mother trucking town. Oh, my goodness. But if it had like a modern look to it, oh, I'd I'd be well. We can't afford two thousand dollars a month. You guys should pay about that for this house. No, not even half that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you got a hell of a good deal. Or you had a damn good down payment. No, we didn't have any down payment at all. We put, we put five grand down payment. See, there you go. We that's, did. That's a down payment, yes, sir. Yes, dear, we did. I never know what's going on. I know. We I thought we had a zero down, but um. I was gonna say, I think but still, a thousand, five, five grand is nothing when you're buying a when house you're buying for one hundred and forty thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, one hundred forty thousand dollars for this house, but you I mean you bought it a long time ago. This house now it probably sold for what one ninety two two ten. They're saying want. They're saying two nine. Two thousand nine. Um, two hundred thousand to nine. Two hundred nine thousand. Yeah. My God. Good Lord. They think two nine. He's got his. He's got his rotch on, so he can't figure out how to talk. And it's squeezing my brain. <sighs> but um, his rotch. If everything else wasn't so expensive, I'd probably be trying to like come up with a deal, a way to sell this house, pocket the money, or buy another house for the the profit. But Flip everything it. is so expensive right yeah. now. Trailers are going for a hundred grand. Trailers. I know. I own one. It's insane. They're they're nowhere near worth that. I don't care how new they are. I don't care how nice they are. They do not last long enough to charge someone a hundred thousand dollars for a trailer. Nope. New ones are a hundred grand. No, well, new no, because I was just looking. You're right, but new-ish ones, yeah, are a hundred grand, a hundred like, grand, and, I don't know and what a piece of shit is thirty. See, I bought mine for twelve. Yeah, but how long ago? Five six years ago. Yeah. It must have been enough. Something like that. Five six. Everything years ago. right now is so fucking expensive. Because we were thinking about buying a trailer and renting it to my to our daughter. And they we're still considering it, but to get a trailer for thirty grand ish, it's just not nice enough for the money. Yeah, you know. And then we saw one that was twenty five thousand. I'm like, oh, okay, let's check this one out. It was not even livable. It was a shell, and you had to completely do redo it for twenty five thousand dollars. Nineteen nine. There's a nice one for nineteen nine. That's a double Y. That's actually a modular. Yes, but you have to look. That's in a retirement community. No, yeah, this is 65 in, and older. No, this one? Yes. No, it's not. This is in where my uncle's trailer is at, down in um, Bethlehem Township. Well, how far away is that? It's right by TSC. You know when you go at Full Road there where you make the turn? Yeah. It's in, it's you turn and go down that way. It's down towards the Red Dog. Well, if it's only 20 grand, there's got to be something wrong with it. It's pending. Yeah, somebody's looking to buy it. <laughs> but I'm saying it's still 20 grand. That's a nice little mobile home park. It looks nice. Oh, yes, it is. I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about the mobile home itself. No, the park's actually okay. Yeah. Come on. There's one that we were look- I was looking at that had like a clubhouse with a pool and all that, and I'm like, yeah. That's it- Full Village. Yeah, and that one was 65 and older. Those are expensive. Oh, no. Full, full Village, Village isn't. No, it's not. It's what it said on the website. No, because I mean, unless it's changed, changed because... Yeah. People I went to school with lived there when they were growing up. Yeah, well, it, the website said it was a retirement community. There's seventeen five look, for a chuck I, of shit. Yeah, I looked at that blue one. Okay, come on. At this blue one here. Yes. It was a couple that was doable. See, these are like look at that. They got a yard and everything else. It's one hundred eighty-five thousand dollars. There's thirty-four grand. That actually looks like that's the thirty-four wrong. nine was one I was really considering. This one, yeah, I can't remember them. I saw so many yesterday. I can't remember which ones I clung to, but I thought that yeah, one was not too bad. Yeah, that one was doable if all the furniture has been removed. I say that is some ugly ass furniture. I don't like that carpet either. To be honest, no. But I, the funny thing is, I saw that carpet. And I said, "Oh, I'm making her keep it." She's not allowed to get rid. That carpet is so awful. She has to keep it. That she is has horrible. to keep it. She has to keep it. Come look at this carpet. Yeah, come look at. I mean, it's terrible. Let me see if I can make this picture bigger. I can make them all bigger. Yeah. That is just foul. Look at that. What the <laughs> fuck is that? It's just brown, some shit, golden brown. It looks like fucking dog shit. That's disgusting. <laughs> I think the carpet in this room is awful. We ripped, and that it, interior we ripped it out looks, upstairs. This actually looks exactly like mine. I'm not going to lie. The kitchen is the same except for where the placement of the refrigerator the laundry room is exactly the same. That's different. That okay. This is a two bedroom. Mine's a, a three. The two bedroom has the big giant master with the bath. Yeah. Mine, mine's the three. So. So what? They literally just split that room in half. Uh yeah. They just they give you a bigger room on one side, and then the two little rooms in the back. They it, it just make it one. Yeah. And then there's a smaller bathroom that goes back there. That's like the. Because like the main like where mine is. Like, mine would be, like, the room and then the bathroom is together. It's the room and the master bath. And then the back, 
they shorten the one room up and make it a bathroom, and, it, and then it's two bedrooms. And then there's a, I guess what you call the public restroom for the house. The main, yeah, and then the, the main the, one. Yeah. yeah, and then you have the one that's in the back. Or in the, well, mine would be in the back. Some are in the front because they flip-flop them. Mine is just backwards where the main bedroom is in the back. Yeah, but see, there is some. You'd have to repair the roof there for real quick. Yeah, but that's the Yeah, it's not a big deal. But like I said, the... Well, these right here, that yeah. awning, you know what you want from them new? Oh, I'm sure. Like 4500 fucking dollars. Yeah, I know. Everything is so expensive. Are you kidding me? You keep thinking I could build something. I live in a cardboard box. Yeah. But anyways. Yeah, but that's not a bad option there. We're still looking into it. We're still. I'm still thinking about it. I think uh, in order for us to do that, we may have to sell our Continental, though. Oh, well. And that's... Dude, how, how often do you drive that thing, though? She drives it quite a bit. Does she? Yeah. I don't get to drive it. I never got to drive the MKZ, except on the weekends. <laughs> See, these are all double wides, these expensive ones. Yeah. No, well, I knew there would be expensive ones, but I still just think a hundred thousand dollars for any trailer. No. Yeah, it's they're not built well enough. Their walls are too thin. It's all just aluminum. Yeah, see, that's more like like that's even older than the one I got. It's forty one G's. Yeah. Oh, Christ, I wonder what I could sell mine for. And I and I uh, I looked at that one. It, it wasn't all that. If you look at the interior, it, it needs work. I guess I have to see what I'm going to tell them. That's another thing. I don't know, sale. like, how well is, like, um, cabinets, kitchen cabinets or bathroom cabinets, like, if you rip one of those out, do you have to rip, do you rip the walls out, too? Like, is it all glued you together? you got to be super fucking careful. And I will tell you this, too. And this is one of the things that I found when I bought mine is I was putting, like, new door handle, exterior door handles and shit mm-hmm. in there. Mm-hmm. Everything's different for a mobile home. So like the door locks are different. They're they're offset different. Mm-hmm. Everything is different. So you have to buy stuff specifically made. Yes. For, yeah. Now well, what, not- now you can't now if you replace the whole kitchen cabinetry, you can put whatever the fuck you want in there. Right. But if you want to just replace a, one certain part of something, you can't just go to Lowe's and buy it. Right. You have to buy it specifically for a mobile because it's not the same. Do you, can you put like literally whatever you want, or do you have to buy more lightweight stuff? You put whatever you want in there. Oh, okay. It's, I mean, the, the flooring is, I don't have any problem with the flooring in there. Um, I will say the, the one thing that, about mine that just bothers me is, and I don't know what to do about it, because it's just a straight, it, it's a bitch, because I only have like a window air conditioner, mm-hmm. like a big giant one in the main, in the middle of the trailer, <laughs> keeping things cool in the rest of the trailer and it not being a fucking meat locker in the kitchen is the biggest issue. Yeah. So if you get one, I would I would suggest doing like the central air. Like mine has central air, but it's broken. So I was like, screw it. I'm not even fixing it. I'll just put this, because I had one in the old house that I had. Could like you, I said, that's the only thing that sucks. Could you do this? Like if, let's say, for example, your window air conditioning's at one end of the trailer. Could you put like an exhaust fan at the other end to kind of pull the air? Where are you going to put the exhaust fan? Cut well, a hole just, in the house? Yeah, just stick one through the wall. I mean, that would be expensive, but you could probably do that. But I don't know if it just would. Just a little, like, bathroom exhaust fan. Just something to pull air out of the cabin. Yeah. Well, all I did was put a couple fans, blew one down the hallway one way and one into the living room. But I say it's still colder than shit in the in the kitchen. Yeah. But And then the only the other problem I have, too, is my roommate is one of these guys, if it's not 65 degrees, he's sweating. So he's got that window air conditioner set at 65, trying to keep... And it's like, dude, listen, you're not paying for half the electricity. You're only paying so much a month to live here. You need to stop doing that shit. Yeah. I mean, live here, my electricity bill is $100 a month. It's harder, man. It's harder to cool off than it is to heat up. Well, see, and that's the other thing, too, is with a mobile home, you have to consider it's smaller, so you pay less for heat and electric because it's small. But it's not built like a house, so it's not insulated the same, so it leaks a little more. So even if it's like you go by like space, it's half the size of a house. So if it costs a hundred dollars to heat a house, it should only cost fifty bucks to heat that. You got to add a little bit because it does leak heat out faster. Mm-hmm. So that's one of the things. Like I think I, when I first bought it, before everything went ridiculous money, I think between gas and electric, I spent less than a hundred dollars a month, and now there are. Probably about 65, 70 bucks a month each. That's another thing I noticed. I looked at one that I thought was really good, 
And then I went further down the page, and it said the lot rent was four hundred and eighty dollars a month. Well, that's what mine is. Mine's uh, four hundred bucks. So if you buy one and the cost is five hundred dollars a month to pay it off, now you're paying a thousand dollars. Why see, not that, just buy a house? But the problem with that is. It, it's not that. The The reason you're paying the lot rent is because they. it's not a public street. They have to take care of the streets. If you live in certain ones and you pay that higher lot rent, they mow your grass. They take care of your trash. All that shit's included. Well, this one said 480 plus utilities, so I just kind of okay, assumed. So you're not, you're, you are not. don't have to pay for trash. You don't have to pay for snow removal other than your little spot where you park your vehicle. You probably don't have to pay for any of that kind of shit. There's, it might be one that has, like you say, like a pool. It might have like a, some of them have big, like if it was the one down in Sandy Valley, there's a big banquet room that you can use. It's got a laundromat inside the trailer park. It, 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 it just depends on where you're at. The ones that are expensive like that are laid out. Hmm. Some of them actually have playgrounds for the kids built into them. Yeah, this one did. So, I mean, yeah, that's what you're paying for is all those extra amenities that nobody else can use. Like mm-hmm. mine, it's it started out at like 375 and it goes up like, you know, 20 bucks, 15 bucks a year or whatever. But I think it's right at 400 now. But we don't have any of that stuff. The only thing that you get is you get, um, let's see, what is it? <clears throat> your water and sewer you got to pay extra for. You got to pay for your trash service, but it all gets paid through your lot rent. So... Like my lot rents four hundred dollars, and I don't think it cost me another eighteen or twenty dollars for the other things. But they take care of the streets. They take care, you know what I mean. Yeah. The only thing I have to do is my little spot out front. There. Still, I'm looking at the money. You got four hundred dollars in rent plus electricity, your internet, then the cost of the trailer. You're still going to be around a grand a month. I mean, who can afford that? I'm right now with my because I I bought mine through through the place I live, mm-hmm. and I'm. Six ninety something, seven hundred bucks, depending on how much water we use, because it, the water's weird in Canada. If no matter what, how much water you use is what they charge you for sewer on the back end. They, it's like a. You should stop calling it water. It's not water. It, well, you know what I'm saying, but yeah, it's a clear fluid of some sort, but that is not water. But whatever you use is what. That's how they offset. Water doesn't sewer. move on its own. Well, it doesn't really move on its own. Yes, it does. It looks at you. It gets angry. Okay, whatever. But I'm just saying it's. I don't know. It just depends. Like, I think I'm paying right around 700 bucks for everything. But then once I pay it off, it's only 400 bucks. That's another thing that irked me. When we lived in Canton, they worked on the water lines in our neighborhood at one time. And I turned the water on and mud came out oh, of yeah. the spigot. Oh, well, no, hold on. So I called them. I just, because I didn't know they were working on the lines. And I said, hey, something's up. And she's like, oh, they're working on the lines. Just leave your water on and you'll flush your lines now that they're done. So it took about 15 minutes, and then the water turned nice and crystal clear. And, and then they charged you for the mud. Right, and then they charged <laughs> me the whole fucking time. And I'm thinking, you son of a bitch. They should have at least stopped the clock for, you know, a half hour. Oh, the other thing that you get, too, check this out, that I, I have, and I didn't even realize this was a thing. Since your water and sewer is paid through the company that owns the, the trailer park, when I first moved there, I get a text like, I don't know, a week after I moved in, and they're like, hey, we think you have a leak. And I'm like, excuse me? They're like, we think you have a water leak. I'm like, is there water on enough? And they're like, no, no, your water meter's just been running, and here the toilet was running. Oh, yeah. So I was like, oh, shit, ching, ching, ching. And then, but yeah, they're like, yeah, the something's going on. You're using an awful lot of water. We think you have a leak. So that's nice. You know, they're, yeah. at least they can monitor, they like, like, hey, man, <laughs> something's up. But I thought that was pretty wild. That they sent me a text that they thought I had a leak because they could see the meter. Hmm. So apparently the office or whatever must have like a thing where it sends an alert if something is running for too long or whatever. Yeah. So, I mean, I know it's not $400 a month worth of cool, but that is kind of nice. Well, all right. Well, we're over. So I'm going to wrap this up. Anybody else have anything pressing they want to say before I hit the button? Bye. Okay. See you.